79 gigahertz uh, is focusing on uh, four things. One is um, having a high resolution bandwidth available for the complex traffic scenarios in future. And the other thing is to establish a regulatory uh, body within this project uh, talking to the ITU at international level. And the other things are dissemination and the project management. So we have four working parties inside the project. The project is quite important because we are faced with more and more complex and sophisticated uh, traffic scenarios worldwide. So we have to find the suitable radar technology to cope with these uh, challenging things. And the high resolution means that we need more bandwidths to have better object separation, which is one uh, strategic thing for these complex scenarios. The present situation is that we have more or less a narrowband system which could be sold worldwide. This is the 24 gigahertz ISM band. This is the 77 gigahertz long range radar band. Unfortunately, due to some national restrictions, we have only 200 to 500 megahertz of bandwidth available. So that's not too much uh, because we need separation capabilities down to a few centimeters, which could not be done with these systems. And the 24 gigahertz ultra wideband, there is um, a full stop in Europe in the year 2018. So it's very hard for the car maker to have the suitable radar technology installed for the cars coming in 2015, 2016, because lifetime will be too short then. We have nowadays the preparation work for the World Radio Conference in 2015. So a lot of input papers and a lot of uh, uh, scientific input will be available next year and the year after. And so we think uh, we will have it done within the next two years in most of the key regions of the world.